On June 18, 1815, Napoleon Bonaparte, history's most brilliant strategist, made inexplicable errors at Waterloo, delaying attacks and misreading terrain. Historians now agree, sleep deprivation and exhaustion impaired his judgment. Bloodshot eyes and slurred commands revealed a mind pushed beyond its limits. This wasn't betrayal or poor tactics, it was fatigue, the silent killer of genius. But how exactly does exhaustion dismantle military prowess? The answer lies in our biology. Neuroscience reveals fatigue shrinks the prefrontal cortex, the brain's decision-making hub, by up to 60% after 24 awake hours. Studies show exhausted soldiers perform worse than those legally drunk. Cortisol floods the system, distorting risk assessment. Simple choices feel overwhelming, ants feel overwhelming, and threats are misjudged. MRI scans prove sleep-deprived brains resemble those with trauma. This isn't mere tiredness, it's cognitive sabotage. History's battles are littered with its victims. At Antietam in 1862, Union General McClellan squandered victory by hesitating for 18 hours. His exhausted staff misread Confederate positions. In W.I.'s 1914 Christmas truce, sleep-deprived soldiers spontaneously ceased fire, their minds rebelling against endless combat. These weren't acts of cowardice, but biological collapse. Fatigue erodes discipline, making even veteran troops freeze or act irrationally. The pattern repeats across eras, proving exhaustion is warfare's universal weak point. Today's warfare magnifies fatigue's dangers. Drone operators working 12-hour shifts exhibit 300% more targeting errors. In competitive esports, sleep-deprived teams make 80% more strategic mistakes in finals, proving fatigue transcends physical battlefields. Even elite units like Navy SEALs admit most failures trace to exhaustion, not enemy action. The lesson is clear, whether with muskets or keyboards, tired minds lose wars. But can we fight back? The US Army's 2019 field manual mandates tactical naps, 90-minute rest blocks proven to restore cognitive function. NASA's fatigue countermeasures, like controlled light exposure, now train special forces. Modern soldiers learn to micro-sleep mid-mission, a skill WoWA 2 pilots used instinctively. These aren't luxuries, but survival tactics. Had Napoleon known this, Waterloo might have ended differently. The true lesson? Fatigue isn't weakness, it's physiology. Mastering it is the ultimate strategic edge.